What's up, everybody? The Bad Boys are back on the big screen for the fourth time as Will Smith and Martin Lawrence return as the Miami Detectives. There will be some spoilers for the movie here in my review, so you've been warned. Now let's get into the movie. I'm going to get my cons out of the way right away here because this franchise rules and I've only got a couple of complaints here for uh, Ride or Die. Starting this section off, I can't help but mention just, you know, how terrible the stuff where Mike and Marcus are like talking to Captain Howard through the spirit world or, or something like that. For one, the execution just didn't work out and as much as I loved seeing Joe Pantoliano come back for a couple more scenes as the late captain, this wasn't worth it. Also, it just really didn't look good at all, so cutting these scenes would have fixed a couple problems with the movie. Then, I hated Married Mike. I mean, Will Smith being a player by day and a badass by night is one of the best parts of this franchise, one of the selling points to the franchise. So, you know, I'm hoping if they make more movies that this is a one-and-done thing in the future. That's all I've got to bitch about, though, so let's get into the things I liked about Bad Boys Ride or Die. Kicking the pros off is going to be the cast as a whole, but really, it's the boys. It was awesome to see Manny, who's DJ Khaled's character, and Fletcher returning to the franchise, as well as Ion Griffud and Eric Dane joining the franchise and making a fantastic entry, but like I said, the boys, they're the show. Then, there's the comedy which these movies live and die on, and it was just as good as the last three here in this one. Really, if you like the other three movies, you're going to like this movie. The Bad Boys comedy is great in this one, and that should really go on set at this point with Mike and Marcus being automatic for three straight movies now. On top of that, Ride or Die continued the franchise's other tradition of having great soundtracks in their movies, and I will say it wasn't my personal favorite one out of the four movies now with their soundtracks, but it was still great, no doubt about it. Finally, the camera work throughout the whole movie, but specifically during the action sequences, was just incredible. We saw some behind uh, the the behind the scenes stuff from the movie a couple days ago that Will Smith shared, where it's like a first person shooter with Mike, and there's so much of that in this movie here. It rules, and so that'll do it for my spoiler review of Bad Boys: Ride or Die. Another solid entry into this franchise, and as far as I'm concerned, the franchise it's four for four. Let me know what you thought of the movie, though, down in the comments below. Make sure you have a great day.